From ROKC in Aletha, I'm Megan Abundis. We are days out from the 2024 Paris Olympics, and rock climbing is set to take center stage. We're going to take you to new heights to show you just how close the connections to Olympic athletes are to right here in Kansas City. From the Metro, the routes are set with eyes on the Olympic Games. Yeah, I did that one. It was cool. To help break down the events, here's Miles Bartels. Going up and uh, Squeezing, grabbing hard and pulling hard. At 11 years old, he just competed on the big stage. You got this, Miles. Go, Miles. Go, Miles. Go. It's pretty big. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to make it to nationals at all. He'll be watching the Olympics to learn some new techniques. The thing that's keeping me in here is the heel hook. Without the heel, I might not be able to hold on to this one. Sport climbing was just added to the games in 2020. <laughs> There are two opportunities for athletes to medal in. The events lead and bouldering are combined and speed climbing is separate. The greatest thing about climbing, it's, it's, it's kind of like vertical chess. You have to figure out the moves. Dick Dower is a competitive coach and has been a part of the climbing world since 1974. Miles is, uh, is extremely dynamic. He's improved dramatically in the last year. Dower stresses the process, not the results. Climbing is more of a lifestyle for me. Uh, it's less competitive, it's more um, just having fun. Because of the worldwide broadcasted events. The exposure, it's given to the sport. He's expecting more first-time climbers in the gym. It's one of the few sports you can take your kids to that you can do at the same time. The more you try it, the more fun you'll have doing it. From Olathe, I'm Megan Abundis, KSHB 41.